This is Tracy Broussard with Road Dog Online, and I'm with the ambidextrous wonder. <laughs> and it is Tom Hurst, and he's currently on tour with American Idol finalist Bucky Covington. Your students, since you have the blend of the marching percussion and also drum set, right? Do you find a lot of a lot of kids are top heavy as far as having all the chops up here. Sure, I'm a big term we use, and a lot of my buddies I teach with talk a lot about transfer value. I mean, it's nothing that I coined. I forget. I heard someone like Tom Hannum that does the cadets talk about it. But the idea of you know, like taking that same approach, whatever you've done, whether it's a kid player who's really into double bass, you know, and they've done nothing with their hands. They've got fantastic dexterity with their feet, but they don't have like their I, there's like the grip. You know, there's no use of fingers, no use of fulcrum and concepts of levers, I usually try and take whatever's their strength, rather than tear them down, I try and kind of build on that strength and say, okay, look, man, you've got this really well developed. Let's look at how, how, you remember how you've gone through that process. Let's go here and kind of recalibrate, if you will, the other, whatever that might be. Maybe it's consistency, you know, for some guys, it's, they seem to still struggle with, you know, ostinatos or different, you know, different things. So that's, you know, definitely with students, I definitely see them being one way or the other. It's, mm -hmm. One dimension, you know, and, and I already too, a lot of them, I don't necessarily push the rudimental thing because, you know, see how it is. Some guys are playing in bands, you say rudiments, it's like, the, it's like, right. you know, they, and, yeah, you know, and so I, I, I use a lot of trickery, you know, kind of working things like I'll take like a flame accent pattern over 16 notes, but you know, you play the rhythm, say, hey man, work this rhythm up on the right side, you know, dun 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 now play this, dun 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 just did a rudiment. I'm like, you're playing flat accents through 16 notes, you know, it's like, hey, y'all, woo, fancy word. You know, the kids kind of look at you like, see, it doesn't have to be hard. Yeah, it's a band project. Yeah, I'm one part of a trio called the Power Triplets. It's really kind of, the guys who lead it, uh, Chris Nix on guitar, he lives in Florida, he's an old Line 6 product specialist, he's done a bunch of work as a rap as well, and a guy named Trip Wamsley out of, uh, he's from, what is it, Lake Charles, Louisiana, I always want to say Lafayette, yeah. you. Mm -hmm. um, Trip and, and Chris are just ridiculous players, real into Zappa, they're into Rush, all that kind of crazy progressive rock, but then they allow me to bring in my love of like Charlie Hunter and kind of funky, you know, you know, you know, you know pseudo fusion, I don't know what the heck you call it. power triplets thing. Say no, it gets all the notes out of the way, so maybe I might actually play with some semblance of taste. If you're all use up my note quote last year, I've partnered up with my good friend Sean Thomas and a company with run by one of actually one of the reps I work for with Ron Tuck Sales, a guy named Brent Moore up in Charlotte, has a company called Backline Pro. They've serviced Virginia and the Carolinas for, for years. And he and I had talked about partnering up and I said, you know, I think we could do this in Georgia, Florida, you know, maybe even a little bit out of Panhandle, kind of reach into Mississippi if maybe because uh -huh. there just aren't that many backline companies down there. Sean's running it really. He's the one doing the real work. I just, you know, I'm I'm throwing money in the two of us and that man, it's really grown like gangbusters. So we're with that, we're trying to service. We've already done we did Dare Worley, doing Dion Worley next month. So it's pretty exciting and that's you know, I'm really trying to, with Sean, my main job is just, like I say, just kind of hook us up with other production companies, and, and he's the organized one that really makes it run, so. And you being a drummer, you've experienced bad at Oh, companies. gosh. Well, case in point, tonight, you know, here we're in Minnesota, and a fantastic company. I think it's TEC is their name, and their guys are great. We were with them yesterday and today. Beautiful DW kit, great gear, you know. You know, SW, you know, everything's really top notch, and you just there's such a difference, and it's not that hard to do. I mean, there, there's gear out there; you can get good quality gear and just go that little extra step. And so it always blows my mind. It's usually companies, the companies that do focus on it exclusively, usually do a great job. You know what usually happens is if it's a production company that does audio and lighting, the backline's like, yeah, hey, Billy, bring your drum set. We have here my Masterworks 
custom kit. I've, uh, Pearl folks were nice enough to hook us up with this summer when Rocky and I got our percussion set up together. Uh, I'm playing uh, basically reference snare drums. I've got the backup drum, which is a five and a half by 14. And these guys are 20-ply 20, 20 shells, so they're really heavy and a fantastic drum. Big thanks to Pearl there. Using, uh, just while they're down there, the uh, standard Pearl Eliminator pedals. Got back up and regular. And then I've got also another reference. My main drum is the 6.5 by 14. And it's again a 20-ply. It's a mixture of maple and birch. And then that takes us to the Masterworks kit itself, which is kind of like the Pearl reference series. We have a 10-inch rack tom, 14-inch floor, 16-inch floor. The, uh, the shells are basically, it's different blends, just like a reference kit. You have you've got birch and maple in, in the, the shower drums, like I think I want to say this is a four or six ply shell. And as you move down into the, the four toms, you've got uh, mahogany on the inside and maple to the out. Same thing with the 16. The, the bass drum is actually a 20, 22 by 18, and it's got a mixture of its mahogany on the inside. Basically, same thing, again, lower frequencies using the mahogany and then with a mixture of birch and maple as well. Um, otherwise, I use pretty much standard Eliminator hardware. Um, I'm a Zildjian endorsee. I've been with Zildjian for years and uh, using the Armin series 22 inch ride symbol. This is a call it says prototype, it's just pretty much a standard Armin 22 inch ride. We've got the uh, K Custom Hybrid Crashes made famous by Akira Jimbo. We've got those for 17 and an 18 inch, over, pardon me, 19. And then the Armin Hi Hat series also 14 inch. Uh, pretty great hats, really like them, very articulate. Then we just kind of have the usual fun, uh, click station, uh, Gonza for our moments of sensitivity. And here, so here we have our talk back so I can bother everybody in the band and tell my bad jokes and not be funny. And uh, we've got Zildjian drumsticks, the Super 5A. So that pretty much runs it down. And I think that's about it here on the Bucky Covington gig. Big thanks to my buddy Steve Cook, partner in crime in the rhythm section. Extraordinaire. That's him behind you. And uh, thanks again. So uh, you're playing with percussionist Rocky. We got his Bucky Brook. I guess that's pretty cool. Man, it's fun because he's so into it. Rocky's like, he did the first day he's on the plane. He's on a couple years. I mean, he was, they, they tasked him with, hey, go play drums behind Bucky on the national touring situation. Like he said, he played just for a few years, you know, in bars and stuff. So he, he, you know, still figuring out doing the kit thing, and then they, they brought this up because he's a good singer. He goes out front and does duets with Rocky and Rocky okay. each night, and the crowd, the fan base loves Rocky. They know him, you know, they, they're just excited to see him. They are like sometimes, and it's really cool. He's a physically strong guy. He's picked up the hand percussion thing light defense. I mean, I, we brought out Mike Thunder Rig that I used to use with Sister Hazel, you know, I was all southern with him and seen him all through the years, and Rocky, you know, I just, he started using my rig. Before we know it, man, he's like, he's picked up, you know, I'll show him something, and then the next day he's shedding all day long. And it's neat, man, you know, conversely, he's just he's good at naming he does. Guy with race motocross, he beats all of us at video games. And he's just one of those guys. Yeah, like, yeah. I hate those guys. You know, could you just not learn something? Can you suck at something? Yeah, and he's and it's, we're really having fun. You know, there's a lot of park building. It's really, I, it's, I dig it. It's like being in, in kind of an Allman Brothers type thing. You know, also go back to the drum line, listening. Totally. Yeah, and that's what I love about him, you know, and, and he's a good musician because he plays, you know, he sings, he's front of band, so he's really aware of what's going on. And it helps me a ton too because he's a twin. Yeah. He knows exactly what Bucky's thinking. Yeah. He'll sometimes be like, start the tune now. When I was first in the gig, like, I wouldn't know, like, what Bucky want, you know, like, at a point, Rocky would be like, yeah, you probably have to really kick this in. You get on the mic to me. I was like, cool. Yeah. You know, and so it really helped. You know, that's the thing. Bucky, like, say, you know, he came off American Idol and stuff. Dude's solid the here. He's, he's the coolest guy I've ever played with. I mean, it's not, you know, with Bucky, it's not like working for some of the largest man. I mean, he's just that kind of big back in the center. I mean, I, you know, I would never have guessed. You know, I was just happy to get hired and then find out what generous founder of guys they are. And, you know, and they, like them, the first to tell you, it's been tough for them. People they were taking seriously coming in. Man, I'm having fun with you. You know, you, we're, you, just, you know, we play together now. It's like, the, it's a good, solid band. You know, it just, you know, doesn't hurt when you got Jeff on guitar and Steve, who's in here goofing with us. I mean, some really strong players, you know, and so it's a it's a good thing. Tom, thank you, thank you so That's much, man. This is Tracy Broussard with Road Dog Online and Tom Hurst, and we're done.